Last chance, John. Your friends are here. I can't wait to tell them what their favorite detective did to Heather. What's it gonna be, John? Danny! Don't move! Don't move, Manning! Nice and slow. Just back away from the baby, please. Nice and slow. Dead Sam! Sam! Listen. Don't put your hands Just in the air! Shut up! What it looks like. Hey. <clears throat> so Lucy Coe's back in her cell. Any of what I say get through to her? I mean, do you still think I'm this this Caleb? You know, it makes sense she's having uh, trouble with this. It's hard making someone believe you're two different people. You really believe I'm a vampire, do you? No, I don't think you're a vampire, John. Just a serial killer who thinks he's a vampire. That's so much better. You know, man, I don't know what to believe. Okay, we have, we have this eyewitness nurse at GH, Sabrina Santiago. She implicated you in Carlson's murder. We have surveillance footage that definitely doesn't lie. Has you in the evidence room, escorting Rafe Kovic out of his cell. This kid, Rafe, won't stop telling anyone who will listen to him that you're the one who killed his mother. No, Dante, he saw someone who looks like me. What do you got, a twin that you didn't mention? All I know is this guy goes by the name of Caleb. And until you believe that and you start searching for him, none of this is going to get cleared up. We got to find this kid, Rafe Kovic, and talk to him and find out what, what happened with, with Carlson. Yeah, so the kid's all right. Well, why wouldn't he be? Rafe told me that he and his mom were on the run from someone. He didn't have the details. He, he doesn't know why his mom is so afraid of this person. But you know why. It's the key to the whole mystery. But none. Assuming everyone's telling the truth, this Caleb has now killed Allison Barrington, Bud Carlson. And since Professor Moser was my alibi, he's killed him too. Do you know how ridiculous this is, this theory is? You know how much evidence is against you right now? Forget the evidence. Okay. You're my partner, man. You know me. I do. How long have I known you? You tell me. Huh? How long did I know you when Ronnie Domestico framed you for beating all those women, huh? When all the evidence pointed to you as a dirty cop, I still joined up with you to help you find your wife. Look, Dante, I'm, I'm not asking you to believe me. I'm just asking you to give me the same chance. And I can do a hell of a lot more good out there than I can in here. You gotta let me go, man. You realize what you're asking me to do here, John? I'm not asking you to walk me to my car. Just make yourself busy and look the other way. <sighs> What? You want this guy caught, don't you? It's time to pick a side, Dante. Do you believe me or not? Let's go. Well, for the first time in my life, somebody's gonna have to believe me. Believe you about what? I saw you, John. I saw you kill Heather, and I saw you try and take that baby. What the hell are you talking about, Manning? You know what? That's what I would like to know. Let's hear your story from the top, please. Can this get him booked in? It's not a story. I showed up at Pier 52 expecting a boat that would take me to a country with no extradition, but what I saw was Detective McBain with his hand around Heather Weber's throat. And before I could react, he tossed Heather into the water, and Heather never resurfaced. He threw her in one-handed? Well, yeah. You're a lot stronger than I gave you credit for. Well, what happened next? Well, you know what happened next. No. We we struggled over the stroller, and then you said some incomprehensible garbage about keeping the kid, and, and, I don't know, then the cops showed up, and you just disappeared. What about Danny? Is Danny okay? Yes, Danny is okay, because I saved him from you. I've been here the whole time. I've been here the whole time. You got a, you got a station full of cops, and you got video surveillance to prove it, all right? Uh, do you believe me now? There's someone else out there you need to be looking for. John was arrested last night. He was accused of killing a woman named Allison Barrington and a cop named Carlson. Wow. Well, do you think he's innocent? Yeah, of course I think he's innocent. He's not capable of murder. Well, the police must have a reason. I think it's he did this. a simple case of mistaken identity. Obviously, it's someone who looks exactly like him. Someone who looks exactly like him? Okay, well, does John have any idea about this no, person that looks nothing, exactly like nothing him? nothing that he can prove, but Todd's theory 
backs up what John says. I'd like to believe Todd. But it doesn't matter because whatever happens to Todd has nothing to do with me. I need to go. I have a date with Jocelyn tonight for Valentine's. Oh, nice. Yes, we're going to make heart-shaped pizzas and eat cupcakes. <laughs> well, you two have a good time. Yeah. Hey, happy Valentine's Day, Danny. Just as handsome as your daddy. Isn't he? Happy Valentine's Day, Sam. You too, Carly. Oh, what do you say, big guy? I think you and I are gonna have a really nice Valentine's Day with ourselves. Yeah, I should probably get you home. John. Oh, you scared me. I'd be more inclined to believe this story if it was anyone other than Manning telling it. Of course. There you go. So, look, we have no evidence to support this. Well, why don't you drag the harbor, okay? And then when you see that Heather's got a snap neck, you'll know that I'm telling you the truth. We have an APB out on Heather, and the Coast Guard's been alerted, so... Well, I don't think the Coast Guard is gonna help you at all. It's not like the guy took off on a boat. Well, then how did he get away? Well, that's the weird part. And by that, I mean that's the really weird part. You just kind of vanished. John, what are you doing here? Good news, the cops let me out. That is good news. What happened? Well, I guess they, they saw the error of their ways. I heard that Manning tried to take off with the baby. Yeah, he did try, all right. But Anna arrested him, and Danny and I are going to go get home now. I was wondering if uh, maybe I could take a look at Danny. You know, he's had a busy night. I want to make sure he's all right. You need to stay away from me. I know who you really are. Caleb. So thanks, Danny. <sighs> I do not know what to make of any of this. Oh, my God. For once, Manning isn't lying. You which, think? Which means there's somebody out there who looks like me who's doing these things. You know, according to Lucy, this Caleb... Oh, Lucy, that bastion of sanity. Let's say she's right. I mean, not about the vampires. There's a murderer. There's a serial killer named Caleb. And he's fixated on two people. Rafe Kovich and a woman named Livy, who happens to look a lot like Sam. If that was Caleb that Manning saw out there, and he was trying to steal Sam's baby, he's going to do it again, Anna. Right now, Sam and Danny are in a world of danger, and you've got to let me out of here to go help them. Of course, you recognize me. We've known each other for centuries. You're crazy. I don't know who you are. I'm not crazy. We've met before, and we meet again. We're always circling back to find each other. And always this moment when I see you and I know you, you know me.